and Melt Bar and Grill. Now this is a place where I've come multiple times with friends and family, but today I'm gonna be chatting with the owner, Matt Fish, to hear about some of the real stories behind all the interesting things inside. I like the feel, it's weird, it's different, it's Cleveland. It's fun, it's vibrant. I always go home with leftovers and it's it's like uh, lunch for the next day. The sandwiches are ginormous. We love Melt! Matt, how are you my friend? Lauren. Good to see Great you. Good to see you, thanks for coming back. Thanks, thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here. This is our entrance. And we created this entrance in 2009. Actually, I opened the restaurant in 2006, and it was really a boring painted hallway. Yeah. So anyways, I have a good friend of mine named Jake Kelly. I reached out to him and said, hey Jake, how would you like to create a Cleveland-centric mural for me? On one side, it's people walking off the street, coming into Melt, okay. and then the other side is people that are leaving Melt. Ah. And the idea behind them is it's a futuristic cityscape of Cleveland. The large people up front are just kind of common Cleveland type people that we recreated. But everybody behind those people are all famous people from Cleveland, Ohio. Really? From the past, from the present, not so much from the future, okay. but from the past and the present. <laughs> we got Don King is here, uh, Harvey Picard, Dennis Kucinich is over here. All five locations have a mural. All the murals in Cleveland are black and white like this, but actually the mural in Columbus is in full color. Do you do your research to find out who? I personally don't. Jay Kelly spends probably the first three or four weeks before he does the mural, actually spends in the Cleveland Public Library going through the archives of The Plain Dealer and finding famous people, famous signs, famous locations, odd, really oddball kind of stories from Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Even graffiti that, that, you know, that may have been covered up 25 years ago, if there's a photograph of it, he's gonna reproduce it. Nice, well, I wanna check out what else you have in the restaurant. You've got so a lot I of can, stuff in there. Yeah, I, w I wanna take a look, can All we right. go? We can do whatever you'd like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. This is welcome room. in, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the building itself, because the building itself um, has a little bit of history. Yeah, this is a 100-year-old building built in the 1920s. It was originally built as a clothing store um, before Prohibition, and then actually Bud's White Door, it was called the White Door Saloon. It was located down the street in Lakewood, and then after Prohibition, they moved into this storefront, took it over from the clothing store, and actually opened up a bar here in the 1940s, and it's been in existence since then. All the brick exposed is all the original brick from the building. Mm. It was actually plastered and lath up here. We tore all that down. Uh, we put up a nice new tin ceiling, which matches the tin ceiling on the other side, which is the original tin from the 1920s. Tell me about the concept of Melt. I've always wanted to open my own business. I was living in Lakewood at the time, owned a house. I was never thinking about Cleveland or expanding. It was mm. going to be this little storefront restaurant in Lakewood, Ohio. Now I have over 400 employees. We've expanded quite a bit wow. in eight years. You know, went from one little storefront to almost six locations. But the concept has remained the same. It's gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches, hand cut fries. I wanted to present it to people in a very comfortable, non-pretentious bar, pub atmosphere where everybody felt welcomed. How can I take normal plated entrees that people are familiar with and put those onto a grilled cheese sandwich? So I started playing with the idea at home and you know everybody has a feel good, like uh -huh. homey childhood story about a grilled cheese sandwich. So when you walk in, there all these visual effects hit you and then you're coming here for something of this humble, simple grilled cheese sandwich that's presented to you in a very gourmet type way, but it's all tied into those memory triggers. Hmm. So what are some things in here that are kind of like stamps of nostalgia um, for you? As you look around, I mean, you can see some blow molds up here, you know, the big snowmans, pumpkins. When I was opening this location in 2006, it was getting close to Halloween. So they had this Dracula about this tall. You know, I'd seen them before, and I, when I was a kid, I'd have them. I just bought it on a whim. I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy this thing. I put it up on top of the bar. After we opened, I just left it up there. So, and then Christmas was coming. I was driving <laughs> home from here one night, going uh -huh. to my house, and there was a snowman that somebody had thrown out in the trash. I brought it here, cleaned it up, put it up next to it, and then I just started collecting them wow. and finding them. They're up there all the time. Whatever right. holiday you want to celebrate today, that's, that's the holiday be. it is at Melt. Okay, I love it, I love it. Well, actually, I read about a tattoo kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What is the tattoo deal? It's, it's the Melt Tattoo family. If you get one of our logos tattooed on you, 
I'll give you 25% off for life. And then we give everybody their own little individual numbered card. We went with one in 2009 and now we're up to almost 600. No kidding. Yeah. Well, you know what? I want to get to the food part. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Ooh. Oh, I can to cook? To cook your favorite dish on the menu. Oh, killer. I'm going to let you get to the kitchen. Okay. Think about what you're going to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big pressure, hard. The pressure, big pressure, big I pressure. know, the pressure's on. Oh. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right. Awesome. See ya. Here it is. This is a sandwich called the Parmageddon. This is our potato and onion pierogi sandwich. Sharp cheddar cheese, grilled onions, and a vodka sauerkraut that we actually make in the pan with the dish. A nice big pile of hand-cooked fries that we produce every day locally here in Cleveland. So everything's like local. All right, here we go. I'm going in. Dive in. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a little nervous when you said pierogies and vodka cabbage. I'm like, oh Lord, what oh does Lord. he have me what eat? What did I get myself into? <laughs> All of those flavors really come together well. It's amazing. Yeah, it's you, a really good sandwich. It's, it's very comforting. It's very homey. It's very comfort food-esque. Nice. Well, before I go, uh -oh. I have a little surprise for you. Okay. I'm really excited about this. I'm excited Are to hear ready? it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. You get 25% off 25 for life today. 25% off, yes. That's awesome. I have to tell you though, it's not a real tattoo. Let me what? put that caveat out there. How about 15%? How about 10? How about 10? <laughs> okay, I'll do 10. Today only. Today only. Because it's going to wash it off. Cool. I can do that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to actually finish this side. You want to join me? Yeah, I'm going to join you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Bam. There it is.